Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about how we are going to work with the files and folders. We will learn how in Windows operating system, we can create, copy, modify, search or delete files on a computer. Let's start by learning how to create a file or a folder. Most of the apps you use have a new, a save or save as button which gives you an option to save a new file directly through the application. However, to create a file directly on your computer, you can open the computer window and then select the drive or folder where you want to create the file or folder. If you right click anywhere on the windows, a shortcut menu appears. If you click on new, a sub menu appears. You will see an option to create a new folder of files of different type. You can click on any of them to create an empty file or folder. Then you type in the name and press the enter key. A new file or folder is created. If you want to rename it, you can select the file by single left click and then press right click. The shortcut menu appears. You will see a rename option which will make the file name editable if clicked. You can also alternatively click on the file name and it will make it editable for you to change the name. Now if you double click on icon next to the file name, it will open the folder or associated application with the file. You will see that it is empty and you can now start using it to create your information. Now if you want to view the properties of the file or folder, you can select it by a single click and then do a right click. A shortcut menu appears. Click on the properties option. A properties dialog box appears with multiple tabs such as general, security, etc. You can get details such as size, type, location, creation date, etc. on the general tab. You can also move the file or folder from one location to another. To do this, you first select the file you want to move by a single click on its icon. Then you do a right click to open the shortcut menu. Then you click on the cut option. Then you go to the location where you want it to be copied. Right click anywhere on the window and then click on the paste option on the shortcut menu. Similarly, you can cut the file or folder to a new location. Here similar to cut, you select the file and open the shortcut menu. Here you select cut and then you go and select your destination folder and then right click to open shortcut menu again and press paste. You can also use the drag and drop feature by simply dragging your file to a new location to copy it. Here you can drag across windows too. You would have by now noticed a delete option too in the sub menu. You can press delete if you no longer want to view the file or folder. It will ask for confirmation before it deletes. Do note that they should not be in use by another application, otherwise it will give an error. The deleted file is moved to recycle bin and can still be recovered if required. You can also use the home ribbon on the top to execute any of these commands. Many times we forget in which folder or subfolder we have saved our file. In such a case, you can first select the location where you want to search. You can then type in the name or part of it even any words from the content in the search reference bar. It will return a list of files which match with the search criteria. You can also use the wildcard characters such as star and question mark in your search query for it to be more effective.